Hello guys, you are very, very welcome to brand new Let's Play, which I am doing for the first time in about 5-6 years I believe, um, and it shall, it shall be revealed in the next few seconds. So as you can see, I am starting with a new Let's Play known as Short Little 2 and Cutscene. So sorry if there's a bit of audio like you know echoing out there like in the cutscene like this is a pretty well, like I it was a, it's a pretty old disc really. We had better get him into shape, Stuart, if we're going to take on Falcon and return all the jewelry to its rightful owner. Thankfully, your brother George has built this training course for you to train on. So yeah, so basically this first level is basically a training level. Okay, Stuart, the first thing you need to practice is your jumping skills. To jump, press the jump button and try to get over the step. Wait, Stuart, I knew you could do it. If you press the jump button during the first jump, you will jump again while in mid-air. Try this to jump over the next step in front of you. Sorry, forgive me. There we go. That's it, Stuart. Why don't you practice jumping to and from the clock pots near us to make sure you've got the hang of it. Thank you, sweetie. you feel you are ready, come over to me near the wall so we can continue your training. Forgive me as well, I'm a bit rusty at this game. So yeah, short little to uh, Magenta Software that I've been developed this game basically. So I've had it pretty much since it came out and I really enjoy playing it as a kid. Um, like, you know, I had great fun doing all the challenges, you know, um, in this training level. Like, it's not the, not the best training level, but you know, it's, it's alright like for what it is. So anyway, so anyway, yeah, so we're going to go over here to uh, Margaret. You'll be able to climb over this wall behind me if you use your double jump skill. You double jump skill is a spiral too. <laughs> Give it a try and I'll meet you over the other side. So yeah. So yeah. So sure double two. Now um that's how I great found this game. Now it's a bit um I would say to describe it, it's a little bit uh, tedious. I would definitely say it's mediocre. Um I would say it reminds me a little bit, a good bit of Toy Story 2 as well, like, you know, I feel like, you know, some le the levels you do are kind of like, you know, similar, kind of, uh, to what the levels would be in Toy Story 2, you know, so yeah. You there we go so yeah it's, as I said, it's pretty easy this tutorial level you know it's um like pretty straightforward really so yeah like yeah and it's very accurately thrown as well so um basically yeah Yeah. So yeah, basically Margot's like, you know, your mentor basically throughout the game really and um 
Jordan's level really, she's just trying to help you get all the uh, rings back, like that's the aim of the game is to collect all the rings, like you know, you gotta help her get the rings back that she helps steal from the evil falcon who's the antagonist in this game. So yeah, so this is basically Sim 4, like all these chants are really straightforward really. <coughs> you should have no problem stealing the Falcon's minions and shooting like that. Come and meet me near the fence so I can teach you your second attack. Like, um, basically, as well as this, like, it's kind of like simple really, like, you know, I know Bugs Life, a game I play as well. You know, they have a good tutorial level too, but like, um, I'd say that's a good bit better, this is a bit tedious. Like you know, um so basically Margo's not gonna tell us our new attack. If you touch your tail this button, you will spin around and whip nearby objects with your tail. You can use this to open suitcases, protect yourself against enemies, and activate switches. To try your new skill on an object to slide over. Forgive me as well, so I've I've I haven't played this game in a while, so we're still trying to get used to everything again. So yeah, you have to you have to basically use the circle button here at your second attack. You know, it's a pretty cool attack. Uh, I think it's a lot better than throwing the throwing these cherries or whatever they are. But yeah. Nice moves, dear. Now come over here near the gate, and I'll show you another use for your No, I thought you could be able to skip there. Unfortunately, you can't. So. So yeah, basically like, you know, it's this attack and it's good for opening doors, that's the uh, move you use to, op to, you to open the doors and all that. But yeah, um, it's like to say, um, probably sort of like, no, if quality isn't great, it's just more like, I do have a dazzle on me, but you see, like, I think I'm missing another set of RCA cables, I think that's it at the moment, so hopefully I'm going to get that sorted, but I do have an emulator as well set up, but I need some help setting that up like i have someone in college who is willing to help me set that up so hopefully like um the whole let's play won't be like this as well so yeah in here this is the like near final part pretty much the final few parts of the tutorial level hi Stuart. in this part of the garden we're going to improve your climbing skills first off i want you to go over to the bamboo stick right there if you jump with one of them you will grab it and be able to climb up and down go get climbing Stuart. Like, I would say with the voice acting in this game, I do think it's kind of like Margot's like, she's, she's calling me like you're five years old. Get climbing, Stuart! Like, um, it's not a kid's, kid's game, but it's like the way she just, like, you know, um, like, for God's sake, Margot, I mean, it's a bit, a little bit tedious the voice acting, in fairness. Like, um, I know, like, uh, my friend Crystal Fisher, like, you know, did a let's play of this game, and he would have been. I mean, I know I even another good friend of mine, Ratchet Five. Uh, he would have been like um, saying in it, in it as well, like um, oh my God, you found a face block, Stuart, and like you know, it's kind of like it's very tedious, all right, and um, yeah, here she goes again. So yeah. So yeah, there we go. So like this is like all these challenges here like 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 I, I enjoy them when I'm younger but they are a bit tedious in a way pretty much <laughs> like like that's a bit overdoing it in the voice acting I think. True. Also another thing as well is that if you press R1 you get to sprint, like you know I pretty much skipped ahead in that regard. <laughs>
Okay, nice. So yeah, we use the R1 button to sprint basically, which is very handy. I actually had a speed run with Crystal Fisher <laughs> in this like back six years ago now, and um, like, and I was like, uh, and I didn't actually know there was a sprint button until I actually said sprint, and it was so funny. He just was like, oh yeah, there's a sprint button. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. There we go. So this is in these kind of spaces here you will see um like you know cat biscuits which we will collect later on the levels and, um, and other things as well. Well done, Steve. You made it through the tunnel. Hope you didn't get too dirty. Don't worry, you can wash it off in the condo. Just go over and jump in. While you're in the water, use the speed boost button to swim fast, the tail whip button to dive under, and then the jump button to swim around underneath. Now a swimming mechanic in here is like it's not too bad I think it's good enough like compared to other games as well like you know I think the greatest swimming mechanic is probably in Spiral of the Dragon like um but this one is very good as well like you know with like you know it's plenty of freedom in in just a good bit of freedom in this and a good bit in Spiral as well. So yeah, I think Stuart is fairly clean after that long swim. So we shall jump out and then we'll do the final part of the tutorial level with Mark Lowe. Here's a hand for Stuart. Since monkey bar under Mark surfaces like the one next to it. Just press the jump button when standing underneath it, you will automatically grab a hold. You can press the jump button to jump off at any time. So get on up and monkey bar down to the other end of the bench. So yeah. Well done, Stuart. You've completed your training, so come on over to the back door and we'll begin the adventure and defeat that evil mother. Yeah. So that's it, the tutorial level done, so we shall now go to the back door, yeah. So this is the and this is the first level now as well. Like you know, um, I shall be doing that in the next part. Um, it's great to be back into let's playing again. Um, sorry once again for the quality. Hopefully I get the quality better for next time around. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. And if you want to see more of this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I hope you and I hope you disagree with my opinions. So that way we can have a good little debate in the comments section below. So yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next part. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.